Jones. <laughs> get larger and larger if you want any kind of crescendo. It's always a compromise between the beauty of sound and merely being heard. Because if we play it too elegantly, there won't be anything left to hear in a bigger hall. That's the interesting thing about rubato. We steal something from there and we give it back there, while the pulse, my favorite subject, is kind of continuing. Uh, rubato well done should be rather easy to accompany as the accompaniment doesn't have to wait so much. If we want any kind of tempo relation, the slow part cannot be too slow. <laughs> And make sure that the last one is the loudest, not like the whole thing. No, the fermata should be the climax, not before. So not too much big bowing before. <laughs> 